Okay, so next we'll move on to question number eight, which just asks what is the relationship between boiling point and vapor pressure? Okay, so to answer this, I think it's just easier to write down the definition of boiling point. So as we all know, this is the temperature where your liquid turns to vapor or gas. But it is also when the vapor pressure of a liquid is equal to the pressure surrounding the liquid. Okay, so that is how the two uh, can be related. So again, the boiling point is the temperature where the liquid turns to gas, and it is also when the vapor pressure of that liquid is equal to the vapor is equal to the pressure surrounding the liquid. Okay, so we can see what the junior tutor said. Uh, typically, we think of the boiling point as the temperature where liquid vaporizes. However, another way of looking at the boiling point is that it is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals the external pressure. Recall that vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the gas at equilibrium <laughs> on a liquid or solid in a closed container. That means if I have a closed bottle of water, there is a vapor pressure exerted by the gas gaseous water molecules on the surface of the liquid water. Uh, going back to the boiling point, when a substance is boiling, its vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure. Under normal circumstances, the ex external pressure is 1 atm. So the normal boiling point of a substance is the temperature where the vapor pressure is equal to 1 atm. That means that if the vapor pressure increases, the boiling point decreases. Uh, the reverse is typically seen in solutions. When we have a non-volatile solute in solution, the solute decreases the vapor pressure of the liquid, which increases the boiling point of the liquid. That is, the boiling point of the solution of the liquid is higher than the boiling point of the same pure liquid. This is called the boiling point elevation. Yep, so for the last part, Uh, that makes sense a bit, but it takes it takes a couple readings to try and like understand uh, completely. But I'll say the solution is correct. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit. Um, confusing at first when uh, we talk about the vapor pressure and then we talk about external pressure uh, but the more you kind of think about the process about how vapor is formed and how if, if it was in a closed system then that causes more of the vapor pressure exerted by the gas that is formed, but this solution is correct.